click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to never miss another update. One day, when Prophet Musa spoke to some of his companions, a man asked, O oh Musa, is there anyone in the world whose knowledge is above you? Prophet Musa paused a moment and said, No, nobody is. Then a revelation came to him. We have a person who you will find at the junction of two seas, and he is better than you. Prophet Musa got amused and went silent and said nothing else, but prayed that Allah allow him and help him to see the most knowledgeable person of the world. In this way, Prophet Musa, along with one of his followers named Joshua son of Nun, began his trip to find that intellectual. They traveled for so many days and passed through valleys, plains and rivers, but Prophet Musa and his companion were not disappointed and kept trying. Prophet Musa said to Joshua, I will not stop or get tired even until I reach the junction of the two seas, or I will continue finding him despite of time. Eventually, they arrived at the junction of the two seas. As they were tired, Prophet Musa fell asleep on a large rock. At that time, it began to rain. Joshua was surprised to find that a fish that they have in a basket jumped out and after making two or three moves, the fish went into the river and swam away. Joshua heard Prophet Musa's voice after watching this scene. Prophet Musa, sitting on the rock, said, Joshua, we will go further. It is going to be dust soon. Joshua took the basket and followed Prophet Musa. When they went a little further, Prophet Musa got hungry and asked, I'm feeling hungry. Are you not feeling hungry? Joshua replied, Damn Satan, I just remembered what happened to our food and told him about the fish jumping into the river. Prophet Musa smiled and said, This is what we were looking for, one sign, a great sign. We must return back to that place. They returned from the same way they came. When they reached the junction again, they saw a man there. Prophet Musa understood that he should be the same person. He went ahead and said, Do you allow me to follow you, to teach me what is taught to you, and to learn more and be a good person? The wise man said, I am warning you that you will not have patience with me, as how can you have patience about which you have not got comprehensive knowledge? Prophet Musa affirmed him and said that I promise not to oppose you at all, and inshallah you will find me patient and I will not disobey you in any matter. The wise man said, if you would follow me, then do not question me about anything until I myself speak to you about it. Prophet Musa agreed and the two went along together. They both rode a large boat. After a long journey, the wise man looked at the middle of the boat, standing around, and then went to a corner and secretly took a knife from under his clothes and pierced the boat. Prophet Musa ran to him and said, What are you doing? Are you not afraid of Allah? You know very well that these poor people own this boat. They get their livelihood and feed their families from the income of the boat. Are you drunk? Do you want to drown everybody? What's wrong with you? Several employees of the ship noticed the hull of the boat and quickly repaired the hull with pieces of wood. But the boat did not look the same as before. At that time, the wise man said calmly, Didn't I tell you earlier that you will not be able to remain patient? Prophet Musa was immediately regretful and replied, Call me not to account for what I have forgotten and do not be hard upon me for my fault. The wise man looked at the other side and did not say anything. Prophet Musa understood that the wise man had forgiven him, so he also remained silent. The great boat continued his journey. After a few days, the boat reached the coast. They got some supplies and continued their journey. Prophet Musa and the wise man went away from the shore and reached a desert, dry and barren. After a few days of the trip, their supplies were almost finished. When they arrived in a small village, they were very tired from the journey. They had a little rest and asked people to give them some food, but the villagers did not help them.
so tired and hungry, they left from the village to go from the other side. The wise man sat beside the garden wall. The wall was very weak and tilted, so it could even fall with a strong gush of wind. The wise man started working to fix the wall by mixing some of the soil with the water that was in the garden, and with a few small pieces of wood, he started fixing the wall so it can stand the storm. Prophet Musa first looked at the wise man, but with all the fatigue, he helped him to finish the work of the wall. He constantly watched the wise man with calmness and satisfaction while he was fixing the wall. When they were washing their hands and sitting under the shell of the wall, Prophet Musa asked with a smile, Do you want to get paid for this work? The wise man took a look at Prophet Musa and said, Well, well, it's time to get separate from each other and let each other go on their own way. But before separation, I'd like to tell you the secrets of my deeds secrets that you would like to hear. He continued, First, let me tell you why I pierced that boat. He said to Prophet Musa, who was listening closely. The boat, as you have understood, belonged to those poor people. A day earlier, an oppressive king had ordered his officers to take the big and healthy boats from the people and take them to the king. Therefore, after the damage to the boat, cruel boat officers will not take the boat from these poor people. So now, the poor people will fix that boat and can still do fishing and move passengers. Prophet Musa got surprised and curiously asked, Tell me the story of the wall. The wise man smiled and said, That wall in the garden, which was very weak, belonged to two orphan teens. Their father, who was a pious man, has hidden a treasure for them under that wall. If that wall was broken, then others would have seen the treasure and took it. I did it so that after a few years, when the two orphans grew up, they could find that treasure themselves, and no one could take that treasure from them. The wise man said goodbye to Prophet Musa and continued his journey. Prophet Musa wanted to accompany him, but then he stopped himself and watched the great wise man, Hazrat Khizr, go off into the distance.